What is going on YouTube? This is Jay Scotty Sun back with another Pokemon video. And in this video, just got this package in the mail. There's a lot of cards inside. I am looking forward to seeing what's inside. A little backstory. Um, I saw a listing on Facebook and I said, hey, you know what? This looks like a good listing. I might as well hop on it. Actually, my buddy um, had commented on it and was interested in it but making trades for it. And I was like, hey, why don't we just, uh, you know, go halves on the purchase? And he goes, I'm down. So I might be splitting this with him. I'm not sure just yet. Uh, but the seller, ooh, it's packaged pretty well. The seller and I agreed to X amount of dollars and then about three or four hours later, contacted me and said, hey, I actually have determined the value is much higher than what I sold them to you for. Uh, do you mind if I either get some more money or maybe I can give you a refund? I was like, yo, I'm down for either of those. I didn't have my heart set on these cards anyways. And he was like, that's really cool of you. And it seems they're packed in here pretty good. Uh, so I said, I'll give you a few more dollars uh, if they are the pristine condition you say they are in. So they were described as nearly perfect. So if these cards are in near perfect condition, I'm gonna owe the guy a little bit more money. Now, if half of them are in near perfect condition, I'm just gonna give them half of what I said. Or if they're not in great shape, I'm gonna go ahead and not give them any extra money and just bite the bullet on, the, on the, these cards. Uh, you're already seeing some, some of the cards that are in here. So let's go ahead and go through some of these cards. First card. Yeah, that one's, that one's looking pretty nice. Rainbow energy. Also looking pretty good. Actually, there's a bend on this one. Right there, a little lip going up. You can catch it in the light there. But the hollows are clean, as most Japanese cards are like that. There is a nick in the corner here. right there but it looks pretty good Wobbuffet there's a scratch going up and down there nice little swirl action here some markings there another indent right here but pretty good pretty good this card matters a lot it's a Raikou I'm gonna bring it out entirely there's a little scratch right there. Nice. This card is looking good. Really like the look of this card. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a different sleeve. First edition. <laughs> I don't know if there's a unlimited version of these out there anyway. This one's got a smudge right there. What do you guys think? Near perfect? That's how they were described. I don't know, I scrutinize my cards a little bit more than your average person who's just jumped into the hobby. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, energy cards in here. diving in because he watch he's gonna watch this video and see my genuine reaction to his cards there's 
They're looking pretty good though. I'm on the borderline of giving him the entire uh, money that was discussed because there were some issues with some of the cards. Butterfree? Yeah, see? That's not nearly perfect. It's got quite a quite a big lip going on right there. And that's like one of the cards that I was looking to have graded. Bullpex also has damage. All right, and there's still a lot more to go here. As you can see, there's a fat stack, but we've already found damage on a few of the cards that were described as nearly perfect. All right, this one, this one looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and check some more valuable cards. Yeah. All right, that one's looking all right. Jolteon, yes, please be in good condition. All right, this one's looking good. Uh, there is a little issue here, a little scratch. Ooh, Dragonite coming up. Come on, Dragonite. There's a scratch there. And there are three or four little nicks at the top. Not, I mean, this, I'm, I'm satisfied with the purchase, uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna be giving them the entire amount. King Raichu. We'll check out the Raichu. Okay, here we go. This is one of the main reasons why I bought the lot. And it's looking pretty good. A couple little nicks here. I would consider it still near mint condition. Let's leave this bad boy up. fly through real quick see if we can find something else What do you guys think about his, uh, uh, not backing out of the deal, but being like, you know, like you've heard of buyer's remorse whenever you buy something and then you're just not satisfied with it, no matter what it, what it was. It's kind of like he had seller's remorse, was not very happy about selling his cards for the price that they were sold for. That one's pretty nice. All right, Dragonite. Should we leave it up to you? There is a nick there at the top, but overall, I would say these cards are good. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and 
give him what I was, uh, what I told him I'd give him. Even though I even sent him the, you know, the emote where you're shaking hands and like when a deal's been drawn. We had that in our chat. And I was like, darn, he's going back on the deal. I mean, it's up to both the seller and the buyer to uh, be cordial, let's say. All right, this card's one of the more valuable cards in the pile. It looks pretty good. I think I'm just gonna give him the money, make him happy. Let him know there's honest buyers out there too. Come on, Articuno. I thought there were two of these in the in the listing. Pretty good. Yeah, most of them are nearly perfect. Like, I mean, maybe don't use the word perfect. Use near mint. You know, these are near mint condition overall. Uh, yeah, some of them are pretty nice though. So. Pretty stoked to have these. Uh, might put a few up in the background, up on my on my wall here. Just kind of slap a few up there to fill in some blanks. But all right, guys, let me know what you thought of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Peace out.